Hello everyone. Today let's see how to solve an Epson projector problem with temperature lamp flashing or temperature lamp lighting or the device is getting overheated and sometimes it happens that the device will turn on after heating it turns off by itself. There are three possibilities for this one. Either any of the ventilation, air ventilation, inlets, grills are blocked. Here you can see either this or this one or there are possibilities that the fan here you can see inside there is a fan. The fan is not rotating or the third option is the temperature sensor is malfunctioning. So first one I will show you is how to clean the grill air filter and with the fan and the temperature sensor you cannot better not to do it by yourself it's advisable to contact a service technician who is experienced in repairing the projectors so for now for cleaning the filters here you can see this projector it has a door here just open it here you can see just pull it this is the air filter here just pull it like this holding the notch this is the air filter here you can see this air filter little it is a little bit damaged and we can see the dust as well take a soft cloth soft sorry take a soft brush not a toothbrush take a soft brush as you can see this filter it has already gone bad it has decayed it's not having any strength so better I need to replace it so presently I do not have a new one I'll just show you how you can insert it back better to buy it I am providing the link for purchasing this air filter in the description below and also if any of my videos have been helpful for you and you wish to support me by donating you can just click on the buy me a coffee link given in the description and as well as about section of my channel so here you can see there is one more fan as well so for cleaning the fan and disassembling it i would advise better to contact a service technician and if you have knowledge in electronics and disassembling and reassembling it back without damaging anything then you can go ahead all you need to do is just remove these screws and disassemble it slowly if you do not get the filter for your epson projector or if it appears to be expensive for you then all we can, what you can do is as you can see here I brought a trouser and found a sponge in the packing of this trouser so similarly you can get this nearly 4 to 5 mm thickness of sponge in any of the packings take it out from the packing in this way and then you can cut it and use it your new filter is ready if you do not get the original one you can 
just switch to this one you get this sponge easily available in any of the garment shop you can just borrow one okay now after the glue dries just see that it is pressed perfectly properly Okay, now place it in this way. Okay, we are done. Hope this video is going to be helpful for you in preparing the filter for your Epson projector on your own. If this video was helpful for you, kindly hit the like icon, share the video, and subscribe to our channel if you are not yet subscribed. Thank you for watching, everyone. Have a good time.